notes. Notes. Definitely coffee. Crazy kids. I have to convince my daughter to not go in the crate because she wants to be a dog lately. I've been entertaining my children since early. <laughs> since like. My son woke up early. He need a draw. Okay, I have to go to acupuncture, which I'm very excited about because with the lack of sleep and just the way I feel lately, and just the cherry on top. I already did like a little learning this morning. Um, I didn't know what else to do. <laughs> so we did these little, like I printed these out last night. I was gonna laminate them, but I didn't really have the energy to do that this morning and he wanted to use them. So I let him, we kind of reviewed everything on the cards and he wrote on. He Breakfast time, I keep it simple, and today we're doing oatmeal. I like to add a little bit of protein sometimes, and this Koss Vanilla Protein is my absolute favorite. It's plant-based, and it just tastes so good. Probably my favorite vanilla protein. So the day has passed a little bit and my husband woke up and now I get a little me time where I do some skincare and I use the Honest brand right now. I think it honestly has been making a lot of difference and I'm not a skin guru and my skin is actually pretty terrible but I really enjoy the results I get from these products and I feel comfortable using them just because there are more safe and better ingredients, quality ingredients, and um, I've been really enjoying using them. This is my favorite for daily use. Just makes my skin glow. It feels really good and moisturizing. Do my eyebrows. These two lip products are my favorite. I know it's super simple, but the lip mask, I, can, I have to always mention it's my favorite. My favorite <laughs> rose water spray. Just refreshing and comforting. I'll try it. Is it in my eyes? Is it in my eyes? It's in my eyes. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. I know, I used stencil. Whoa. That's all for you. Oh, that, cool. That, that, that's for you. It spins? Yeah. Thank you. It's like a... It's my life. What? Oh, oh my. Let's see. Uh, that, that one. The spicy? Yeah. I'll have a new one. Oh. I'm about to go into acupuncture, and I find it funny because I always end up filming or like recording something while I'm at or on my way to acupuncture. I think it's because it's like one of the only times during the day that I get some alone time. Uh, All right, so I figured I would talk a little bit about what I'm doing and my mindset in regards to homeschool because that is the newest commitment here. And um, I've been thinking about it for a long time. And 
I've been like dabbling. I've been making sure like we're learning all the time, like having a learning environment, Daddy, but Daddy. I haven't actually committed to trying it, meaning, you know, looking for I curriculum. Mean, and, <sighs> this is why I don't normally film during the day because it gets a little dicey. Gotta give it a whirl, you know? Anyway, so I figured I'd just chat about it being so brand new to just the commitment and the idea. I figured I would just use the good and the beautiful, um, the language arts mm -hmm. Where is that? lesson. Is that on the other side? I looked through it and it's honestly, it's great. So I, there's no real reason to not try to incorporate some of these lessons. Um, I don't really have any big intentions of what I'm, if I'm gonna complete it, what I'm doing. I just want to start. That is my goal because I want to feel it out. And I wanna see, especially because technically, He'd be starting kindergarten. My son would be starting kindergarten in the fall. So I kind of want to feel what it would be like to really commit to this and make an official decision um, before it's like too late, if you will. Um, really, it's never too late. It's just my the way my brain works. So my focus really is to have a, um, a flexible daily like flow and um, kind of like just like a baseline of what the day would look like if we were just home focusing on homeschool and then if things changed for that day or we have things to do we adjust accordingly and some days I don't want to prep, put pressure on myself to complete certain things every day um, but I just want a guideline so I have in my planner um, just this week I've scheduled out I haven't looked before that but I did a lot the six weeks to try to do this for six weeks um, so each week I have a goal of one science lesson, minimal, um, about five lessons for language arts, and they're super easy, so it's super, I feel like we could do way more than five, but I'm just trying to figure this out. So another thing that I'm trying to do is at least one math lesson a day, and when I say lesson, I don't mean structured like worksheet. Uh, it could be that because my son does really like that. Oh, thank you. Can I have that cookie? Can you get that for me? Oh, steak. That. Yeah, I want steak. Tens. Tens is like. Do you know tens? Tens is easier. I know. Let me hear. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Bye! That's so good! I, I didn't know you could count by tens. Who taught you? I Nobody. I already knew when I was four. You knew when you were four? Oh my yep. gosh. Can you? All right, so he can count by tens. Double. Adding and subtracting are definitely on the list for that. And those things like we could do really easily. I, we, <laughs> we grab things around the house and use it to um, manipulate, like adding and taking away numbers, things like that. So I just want to casually do math, really focus on the reading, writing, and language. Um, he seems very interested in reading. Can we do more of that? Yes, asking to do it. This is the booster cards, which I printed out last night. Yeah, we could do this, buddy. Another thing I'm trying to implement is uh, read al reading aloud. Right now we're reading Charlotte's Web, a chapter a day maybe, if that. Um, trying to let him lead the way and say like, hey mom, let's read the next chapter. So that's really what I'm doing right now. 